Hey, what's up, how you doing? So today on Post Surgery Talks, we're going to talk about mask. Recently, a reporter asked me a question about mask. Which one do I wear? What's important? And which ones everyone should wear? There also came up a question as to whether or not you should double up mask because of the increase in virility of a new variant. So recently, President Biden was seen wearing two masks, a N95 mask and a regular face mask over top of it. That brought up the topic, should we be wearing two masks as opposed to one? That's a complex question because it really depends on what type of mask you wear. Let me start by saying that whether there's a new variant of COVID, realistically social distancing, wearing a mask, and the vaccine should be your primary focus. Whether wearing two masks is better or not, the analogy I gave the reporter was kind of like taking a bath. Some people just get in the shower, rinse out, like my kids used to do when they were young. They hop in, get out. That's not a that's not a shower. You have to use soap, prep plus or minus a rag. The more attention you pay to it, the better results you get. So if you're just spraying off with a sh with a hose, that's one thing. If you're using soap. That's another thing, if you're using an agitator like a loofah or a wash rag, you're doing a better job. Masks are kind of the same way. They're all different types. Some of them are recommended by the CDC, some of them are not. If you go to the CDC website, they'll show you which mask they recommend. And that's a good place to start. There was also a video that I did on Instagram that goes over flow. So we used dry ice and looked at carbon dioxide and kind of see which ones allow stuff to go through better than others. That's again an, another reference, but there are thousands of videos out there that cover this topic. Today we're just going over the general mask that most people use. So starting from worst to best, start off with the worst is this one. Neck gaiter, you sometimes see people cutting a yard with them. This one you put it on and it covers up your nose and kind of helps prevent dust when you're cutting the yard. The problem with this is you can blow right through it so it doesn't offer that much protection. If you're going to wear this, they do make these with a pocket on the inside that you can wear an insert in. That may work better, but these traditionally don't offer that much support. So if you're going to wear something like this, what I would recommend is actually folding it in two. If you double it up, you get a little better protection. So that may be one that someone would want to wear two as opposed to one or at least doubling up. The next one I think is this. This is one that you can buy anywhere. It's a cloth one. It's pretty much a napkin that you would get in a restaurant with two rings, put it around your ear. And that's it. This again probably works a little better than the neck thing, but again not that great but it is better than nothing so this is not one that i would recommend either but again if you don't have access to anything else this is probably what you will go with now this is a little different this is that same material but you can see they're two different colors so what they've done is taken two layers and sewn them together you can see the stitching around the edge so this is much better than the one layer one that I showed you before. So this is reasonable. These are nice because you can wash them. So you can wear them multiple times. You can make it pretty, do whatever you want to with it. So this is probably a little better. So I, I, I like this one better than the t-shirt one and much better than the neck gaiter. The one thing that the CDC does not recommend are these things here. Um, these are designed for cutting the yard, doing stuff like that. Put it on, straps on. No, no, no. I use one of these when I am in the yard working or if I'm building something. The problem with this from a COVID standpoint is this little valve here. So this little valve it allows you to breathe out, but it doesn't allow stuff to come in. Now, it does prevent you from getting COVID, but it also does not prevent the spread of COVID because as soon as you breathe or cough, all of the virus, bacteria, whatever, come right out. So this is not one that offers protection to other people, 
but it probably does protect you a little bit. So this one is not recommended. And again, like I said, I use this for when I'm in my, my workshop. Now, once we step above the two layers, we get into what are called medical mask or surgical mask. This, um, everyone refers to is a surgical mask. This is really not something that we would use in surgery. This is more for consumer use, people that have coughs and people that work in the food industry. It's nice, it, it's better than nothing, but it's probably the base level mask. It has two rings, put it over here. Again, cover your nose. Some of these are great, some of these are not. And the hard part is there's no way for most people to know whether they're getting a good quality one or not. A um, couple of small things about this. One, the colored part traditionally goes on the outside. The white part is on the inside. Um, a good way to look at this is if you hold it up to the light, you can see that there's actually two layers. It's white on one side and this on the other side. So this is considered a two-layer mask. Um, it does a pretty good job of protecting viruses coming in or out so uh, this is a good one the downside about this is it's, it's disposable so once you use it wear it for a couple of days or realistically you're supposed to throw it away every time you use it chat that is a challenge for most people but this is a reasonable mask um whether or not you should double up on this um i, I that's a hard question i don't think there's a huge benefit in doubling up on this but if you're wearing one of the low grade non-medical facial coverings then yes probably doubling up is a good idea the picture in question with president biden he had an n95 and this on top you'll see a lot of people what they'll do is they'll put these on top of the mask that they wear underneath usually an n95 or a kn95 if it's from outside the united states that is done not because they're getting better filtration or prevention, it's so that they can keep their inner mask clean. We have a shortage of masks because of the pandemic, so if you have an N95, you wanna make it last as long as possible. You know what's on your side of the N95 mask, but you don't know what's on the other side. Pollutants, people um, spitting when they talk, like I did when I was just talking to the camera, or whatever, this allows you to cover your N95 so that you throw this away and your N95 is still clean on the outside when you take it out, provided that you're washing your hands. So I think that's what he was doing. Whether or not doubling up on a mask that has that is two-sided like this, that is designed for this, I don't know. I don't think that's probably, I don't think it's necessary. If it makes you feel better, fine, do it, but definitely not necessary if you're using a medical grade mask. Up, so that pretty much covers all of the consumer level mask or the ones that are easily available to the public. Next, we'll go over the ones that we use in surgery, the N95 mask, as well as what a respirator does, what the difference is. And at the end of that video, we'll also talk about the one that we decided to use in my office, the one that I think Kind of has the best of both worlds it allows you to have something that's fashionable washable reusable and provides you with pretty good protection tune in take care